Question, is this not one of the most beautiful cats you have ever seen? So, so pretty. And thank you to the friend who was so kind to let me have this picture to post behind me. Thank you so much. Let's talk about cats. Be right back. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City. Saves money. How's everybody doing today? You're probably wondering what on earth are we doing with a cat sitting behind me in a picture? We're going to talk realistically today about the cost of owning a pet. Now, I'm using cats as the example. I used to have a dog many, many years ago. But actually, at that time, it was my mom's dog. And I was young enough for my mom to be and dad to be fully responsible uh, you know, paying for the dog. So I was a kid. But then when I got older and, you know, on my own and had my own cats, let me tell you something. I do not have a cat at this time. I am a cat lover. Anybody would like me to babysit their little cat? I am there. I'm <laughs> just saying, just saying. But to own one right now properly, mm, it's not that I don't love cats, but it's just not in my spending plan right now. And realistically, I looked up something very, very interesting on uh, online. And for the year 2022, according to the ASPCA, if you want to get some sort of animal type insurance, you can expect to pay about $634, which is equal to $53 a month. That is just for the insurance, which would cover vet care, uh, you know, vet uh, vaccinations, flea and tick, heartworm, medications, and this and that. That is just for that. We're not even including the cost of cat food. We're not even including the cost of litter. These expenses add up. You're probably saying, well, don't be such a, a pet downer. I'll tell you what I think. I think a lot of people do kind things. They mean well. And sometimes they, you know, they do a cat rescue, but they're not looking into their budget first before they do this cat rescue situation. And you know something? I don't know. I mean, let's just think about this for a minute. You really have to do your math. You really have to do that. And hopefully you can afford to do it. But honestly, I don't think it's right if you cannot afford a pet to take one home, even if it's trying to be a rescue one. I, I really don't believe that. Unless, because if you end up then you're having to give the cat away somewhere else again and putting that cat at risk again type thing. So the moral of today's short and sweet video is this. Sometimes our hearts don't match our wallet. So before we go into getting, like my next cat, I want to be very well ready. I have specific savings goals. And when the time is right, and I feel like the plan is in place, you know, to properly handle for, you know, my future cat and everything, I want to make sure that absolutely the plan is in place because I still have other goals that absolutely I want to hit first. That's the way I think. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Did you get a pet? Not that you regret getting the pet because you love the pet, but did you get a pet not realizing how truly expensive it can be? Or did you come up with a plan first? What do you think? Plan first, then get pet? Fall in, or fall in love with pet, then figure it out and wing it? What says you? I'm really, really curious about all that. Because everything adds up. There you go. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for watching. Why? Because I really do appreciate who? You. Don't forget to come back in the future for some more savings tips, tricks, and ideas and thoughts. What a pretty cat. I have to move the other way so you see it's all, the whole face. There you go. So pretty. <laughs> well, hopefully one day in the not-so-distant future. I do want to you know, continue with my stockpiling of my groceries. Everything has to be in place. It's just, I just, even though I love cats, I love pets. I just cannot get overwhelmed, you know, financially at this point.
So there, just being honest. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing, fantastic day. And I'm going to do the outro, and I'll be right back with a wave. Take good care, everyone. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Bye-bye.